Today on the channel, we unbox the Amazon exclusive speeder bike in the child two pack. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are unboxing the Amazon exclusive two pack of the Speeder Bike, Speeder Bike Trooper, and the Child. Very excited to get this bad boy in because uh, I pre ordered this, and like a lot of Amazon pre orders, you go way back and uh, you know it takes months to get them, whatever it is. And this one I was expecting, I believe it was somewhere in January. Then all of a sudden, Christmas Eve, it was a Christmas Eve miracle. The, the door rang and I had a package. I said, what could this be? I opened it up and it was like a Christmas surprise as I was not expecting this to come, had no thoughts of it coming. So very cool to get stuff. Um, I hope stuff like that happens more often. It's kind of nice when you pre-order something so far out and then you're just surprised that it shows up. So very, very cool. Uh, this figure is uh, Amazon exclusive. Like I said, that's the only place we can get uh, this figure and bike and all that fun stuff. It is a bit of a repaint, uh, reuse, but uh, feels brand new, I guess we'll say. We'll call it like that. So um, I don't think you can pick this up anymore as of right now. I think uh, it's, it's dark on the Amazon site, but I would think it will come back live and there'll be more of these out. I can't imagine it being one and done that quick. But crazier things have happened. Um, this is the first Star Wars video I've had on the channel in a long time. Uh, as a lot of you guys know that have followed along, hopefully you guys subscribe to the channel. If not, what are you waiting for? Hit the notification bell, subscribe, hit the like, all that fun stuff you always do. But as I'm working around my displays, I'm um, getting my display tour set up, all that kind of stuff. My Star Wars stuff has moved, and I had to get a lot of stuff done before I got to Star Wars. So I haven't unboxed a lot of Star Wars. No reason to unbox them and have them just loose laying around um, until I get them. Well, I'm getting to that point now where it's time to start displaying my Star Wars stuff. So you're going to see a lot more Star Wars videos on the channel. I'm not really known for Star Wars reviews on the channel, but I have done them in the past, and I will continue to do them. A uh, little, uh, little note, little Easter egg to 2021. Uh, my plan is, as of right now, and hopefully you guys can hold me to it, I'm planning a bonus Star Wars video every single day of 2021. Yeah, that's a lot of work. I'm putting in the work for you guys out there, and that's kind of my plan going forward. 2021, uh, big collection bought, all this fun stuff. Get to it more in my weekly purchases and other videos. But if you like Star Wars, we'll follow along that journey. Some old school Star Wars unboxings, and of course the Black Series, which is one of my breads and butters out there. But today, we're here to talk about this Amazon exclusive speeder bike, Scout Trooper, Child, 3-pack. I don't know if the Child really counts as a figure, more of an accessory in my book, but we'll get to that. So let's look at the package like we always do first. Very cool. This thing screams Black Series, but it's different because it's bigger. It's a bigger packaging. It has a vehicle in it. Well, there's that speeder biker. He's looking to the side. Beautiful uh, packaging, the way they did that. Made him go into the side. You got the child in his little knapsack there. Got a cool flight stand on the speeder bike. Um, you got all the Hasbro logo down here at the bottom. Star Wars Black Series at the top. A little bit of legal fun, a little description. And then on the side, we've seen these in the new Black Series, the kind of comic book art on the side. Uh, Mandalorian themed. Um, this is from the Mandalorian, obviously. So it's got the orange little light Halloween-esque orange packaging on all the Mandalorian figures. That way, you're in the store, you see them on the pegs, you see this orange, oh, that's a Mandalorian figure. If it's dark green, it's Return of the Jedi, and so forth. Uh, I think that is a really neat concept. Uh, as you guys know, the artwork aligns up if you line them all sideways. This one does not, as it's a kind of a one-off, stuff like that. I like that. We talk about it a lot on the channel. Make the bigger packaging, give it different. Don't put this, make it uniform with the other one because the box size isn't the same. So really appreciate this. Kudos to Hasbro for doing that. Uh, and nothing on that side. The top's got a really cool picture of the speeder biker going like that. Very awesome. And legal fun on the bottom. Nobody really cares about. And then a little bit of instructions down here, it looks like. Yeah, so I appreciate that. Some instructions. We don't always get instructions with some of these figures. And they're not complicated when you get it. But sometimes you're working. And you guys know, you collectors out there, serious ones, how many of you broke a figure trying to figure things out? Nothing worse than that happening. So really appreciate the box art on this one. And then let's, of course, show the back. That's the money shot back there. Look at that. Speeder biker. Very, very cool. Uh, if you're a kid like me, Return of the Jedi was your first real 
fully understood Star Wars movie, maybe. I don't know if I, I kind of stumbled through that a little bit. But to me, that was, I was, uh, you know, five years old or whatever, and I, I really understood it. Where I'd seen Empire before, and it was, you're little, you're four years old, you only had grasped so much of it. The Empire Strikes Back, uh, or Return of the Jedi, was when I really started to understand Star Wars and went back and played with the toys and really the part I was into. And of course, the speeder bike on Endor back then made this an all-time classic um, vehicle in the Star Wars realm for me. So really like this. I never got a speeder biker before in the Black Series. I dabbled for the first few years of the Black Series, picked and choose, and I didn't get any vehicles. I didn't get this. So I'm really happy to get one of these. Um, speeder bike, like I said, very iconic vehicle and one of my favorite smaller sized vehicles in the Star Wars universe. Uh, but love the back packaging. Let's read the back, see what it says. Scout troopers were lightly armored compared to other stormtroopers, which allowed them to move more quickly and easily in a range of environments. They were also trained for more independence and adaptability than most Imperial troops. The Empire used scout troopers for a range of missions, including reconnaissance and infiltration. And then you got it in about 20 different languages below that I won't read. So there it is. Very cool packaging. Very sleek. Very clean. Very you know, just pretty. I like this packaging a whole lot, but we got to do what we do. We got to open it up. We got to let it breathe. We got to see you later. Let's yank him out. Maybe he's in there. Good. Can I get him out? There it is. So you got a little background there. Uh, I guess that's the background for the Mandalorian show out there when they encountered these guys, when he kidnapped the child. So that's kind of cool, but see you later. Oh, here's the plastic prison shot. One of our favorites. The old plastic prison. Look at that. I love how it's displayed perfectly in the package. I think that is kudo points right there. Comes with a little target thing, which is a nice accessory. I don't know if it was 100% needed, but it's a good attention to detail for this target accessory. And then you got that little small uh, speeder biker trooper gun. I always hated it back in the old days. Like, why do they have this little gun? But I guess they got to be light. They can't be having some heavy-duty stuff on them. So they got this light little laser pistol. He is strapped in here one, two, three, four, four different ways. So we'll have to do some cutting to get him out of here. But very cool. This is one I would think would look amazing mint on box on your shelf. Uh, but I got to open it up. You know me. But uh, you inbox collectors, this is a really cool piece. A really nice conversation piece for your desk or display or whatever you want to do. Let me get the scissors out. Let me get this guy out. See how complicated we are here. Uh, hopefully not too bad. We've seen some that are just amazingly hard to get open. Like the Marvel Select figures, if you guys are familiar with those at all. Those are a chore to unbox most of the time. This one, uh, hopefully not too bad. Hopefully I don't cut my finger off. We talk about that a lot on the channel. For you new fans out there, uh, check my channel out for the first time. There it is. Did I get it all? Let's see. I think we're good. Oh, we got one left in the front. Gotta get him. All right, we're free. Oh, and it just pops out beautiful. Uh, nothing worse than these things just fall apart right out of the package with this one. Pretty good. See you later. Boo. All right, let's clean this up. So very cool. Right out the gate, look at that. I love the flight stand they have on this thing. I know the flight stand came before with the other speeder biker. They also reused that for, I believe it was Hobgoblin in the Marvel Legends line. If we go way back to that unboxing. Um, but I like this new one. Uh, you can obviously take it off. It does peg out, peg in. Pops right off like that. So if you don't want it, I, I don't know why you wouldn't use this. Especially, uh, it's not going to really stand so fun and so good. Um, I, I definitely love this. I appreciate these stands. I wish we would get more stands like this. I, I think that's a, a missed opportunity. I know it adds cost, but I think it just looks really good um, on here. I know the previous speeder biker stand a lot of people liked because you could do it lower, higher. There was three different balls, so you could choose choose your own adventures, like we like to say on the channel. Um, but yeah, the speeder biker, he is locked in here too. He, they even taped in, or not taped in, tied in his hands, and they tied on the sack with the child. So that's very interesting. Um, I'll have to cut those out as well. I hate to. I'd almost rather just leave it like this and call it a day because it's perfectly posed right out of the package. But uh, let's let's cut the child out here on this. If I can pull it out, there it is. A little string action on um, the child. Uh, let's see. So it's just a head in a bag, is all this ends up being. I, I guess I thought there was maybe a body to it in there. He's got a little bit of head articulation, but not much. His ears stop some of that articulation. 
but you can see him in there but it's just basically the head and i thought it was maybe the same as the uh black series edition of child quite the accessory for ten dollars i know a lot of people have bought this one over the last year or so um it is what it is but let's see and pretty close he's got a little bit rosier cheeks on the speeder biker one but not a ton of difference um between the two so there's a little comparison there i wonder oh you can also shut the let's see if this will work can i shut the shut the knapsack on him and you can so that that plugs in perfectly and, and tight so you can close the bag there you can close it so you don't see the child if let's say you get two of these and you just play them side by side you got the child in one the other one doesn't have it uh, that's really cool option for everybody and that fits like a glove usually those things kind of stick and don't stick the way you want them that plugs in perfectly so i really appreciate that as well let me get the speeder biker trooper out here if i can get there's one i really appreciate how they locked him in like i said i really don't want to take his hands and all that stuff off of here because it's so perfectly posed right out of the package uh, i really like that i wish we'd see some more of that but let's get him off so he's got his hands on there not anymore he doesn't holy cow he's packed in good I remember the old speeder biker uh, that I had as a kid would always disintegrate in my hands all the time because it would explode. It had a little button on the back that would pop it off. Um, whoa, gosh, even his feet are locked in here. Man, they went all out on this. I, I appreciate it, that's for sure. But can I get him out? All right, jeez. I, I didn't think it would be that much of an unboxing. But very cool, your traditional speeder biker. We've seen this body mold, I guess you would say. We've had it in a few lately. Most notably, lately, the gaming greats. I, I didn't pick that one up. I would get it on clearance, but we really don't see a lot of Star Wars uh, exclusive items like that ever make it to the clearance racks. It just doesn't happen anymore. Um, but a very cool, very uh, similar to the Black Series. Basically a simple repaint. Duddied, duddied, duddied word, I don't know. Dusted up. He's kind of, you know, that dusty desert living, dwelling land. Um, that he's got there. So this piece is in in here, of course. So pop right out. But yeah, very, very cool. Very cool. There we go. Very cool speeder biker. Got the blaster on the bottom, rotates. Uh, the handles rotate a little bit. Got another knapsack on the back. Got these boosters, these flaps. They go up. I really have them flashbacks to a kid. Obviously, the, my version I had as a kid was much smaller, but very similar to this. They really reincorporated a lot of this. And as we said, this is a, a simple repaint. It's a dustied up speeder, speeder bike. Um, he does have his little gun. I talked about that. I'm not the biggest fan of this little gun. I've never have been. Look at how small that is in his hand. It's just, I don't know. It's just always too small. It just, that always irked me. Uh, it's a stupid thing to get irked about, I guess, but all in all, I like this. Uh, you can have the child hidden, you can have the child in there. Uh, it's a way to, you know, somebody doesn't want to buy this child that doesn't get too worked up about it, hey, you, now you have the child. Uh, I think you still need this one, only 10 bucks. you can't go wrong. Um, but very cool, very cool and reminiscent of the old one. Gives me flashbacks, like I said, to being a kid. Uh, great posability, great display. I love the stand on this one. A very solid figure. Hopefully, if you guys want this, you can still get this on Amazon, hopefully sooner rather than later, because I think this is a centerpiece, and I know there's a lot of people out there that are Star Wars completists for sure, but I know a lot of fans have recently been brought into the Star Wars world with the Mandalorian and the success of the Mandalorian, and I think we're going to see a lot of people looking for a complete Mandalorian collection that will have to have this, and the Mandalorian Madness is really in the figure community, from what I've been seeing the last month, has really ramped up beyond anything we saw in Season 1. So I think there's a lot of people out there that would want this now, that slept on this, didn't know this existed, they're just getting into the game. Uh, so this one's going to uh, be a pretty penny, I think, for a while on the aftermarket, until Amazon reloads with this. Um, so we'll see what happens. Here's the old trap, I don't know if we showed that, not a lot to see, a little target bag thing, but is what it is not too important to the grand scheme of all this stuff but hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, star wars video the first of a lot of star wars videos to come on the channel in 2021 as i said um hopefully you guys follow along don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put that notification bell you don't want to miss a video we got all kinds of stuff we got star wars we got marvel we got marvel select we got wwe we got AEW. we got NECA ninja turtles thundercats he-man gi joe we got it all on the channel 
with unboxing videos every single day. So like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Were you lucky enough to buy this? Did you pick this up? Are you playing the long game? Are you hoping for an Amazon restock so you can pick this bad boy up? Do I need two of these? Part of me wants two, but I don't know. I, I should probably not get two, but part of me really wants another one. You guys tell me your thoughts in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And for Kyle, for the speeder biker, for the child, I'll see you guys all real soon.